Hi, I'm David Stokes with the Show Me Institute. Last night, the St. Louis County TIF Commission rejected a proposed Walmart TIF in Ellisville. I think it's terrific that the County Commission rejected along a seven to four line the latest TIF proposal that succeeds at doing nothing but moving jobs around St. Louis County and reducing our shared tax base. These TIF proposals do not grow our economy or improve products or services available to St. Louisans in any way at all. It's terrific that the county rejected the commission. I hope that the city of Ellisville fails in an override attempt. It is preposterous that cities like Ellisville or any other city in the county can override the countywide TIF commission and impose this TIF on the rest of the county, whether the county TIF commission supports it or not. The county should not be able to impose a TIF on Ellisville against Ellisville's will, and Ellisville shouldn't be able to go forward with this TIF against the approval of the county TIF commission. Ellisville should, should stop this proposal, reject the TIF subsidy, allow market forces to dictate what happens in this area along Clarkson and Manchester. And finally, Ellisville should switch from point of sale sales tax status to the pool where Ellisville could then benefit from developments wherever they occur within St. Louis County. I'm David Stokes with the Show Me Institute, and please read more about tax increment financing at showmeinstitute.org.